Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So this is our day number 12. So great. So we're doing so well. How you feel? Let me know in your comments. So let's start today. So we're going to start standing and we're going to start with the spine rolls. Now, spine rolls is an exercise. It can be part of your day, of your life, like every day. And it's going to give you so much release. The important is that we don't focus only in to keep the back, the legs straight. You can bend them as much as you need it to really bring your tummy close to your thighs, so you do the full fold of your body. So don't worry about legs straight. Concentrate more in that full forward, even if we bend the legs. So let's start. Come at the front of your mat. Keep the same with hips and feet. Inhale deep. Exhale, roll your shoulders backwards. Inhale deep. Raise your shoulders. And exhale, drop them down. Well done. Move your face towards to the right side and drop gently towards to the right shoulder. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Lift the chin back to center. Turn towards the left. Drop the chin towards the shoulders. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Just feel the release in your neck. And exhale. Come back and let's start spine roll. So we go inhale, exhale, bring your head down, bend the knees, doesn't matter the legs, just really fall forward completely by bringing your tummy close to your thighs, let the head drop. Your hands can stay beside you with your fingertips or you can rest the top of the hands on the floor, you can reach. Inhale and exhale, push the ground, we roll up the spine, really feel the spine coming up vertebrae by vertebrae. And the head is the last thing to come up. And then we roll the shoulders backward. Good. We go again. Inhale. Exhale. Spine roll. Inhale at the end. Exhale. Roll up. Feel the spine releasing. And always these exercises are to feel good. So we never feel a pain when we are stretching. Roll your shoulders backwards. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Spine roll. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up. Good, everybody. And we just roll our shoulders backward. Great. Now from here. We're going to step backwards, left foot. We know this position, the warrior one. We can stretch it more wider if you can, but hips facing forward, feet facing forward. This time, hands at the front. Inhale and exhale. We reach. If we cannot bring the hands on the floor with the back heel on the floor, just keep your hands on your hips and let the head drop. We hold for four and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale, two, and just one more. Now straight your back, raise your torso, and here we're going to shift the weight onto the right foot. Give me the back foot off the ground, slightly arch your back, arms at the back, open your chest, try to find balance. We take a deep breath, slightly arching our back and completely straight. The left leg. Take one more deep breath. Inhale and exhale. We release. We step backwards with the right one. Release your hands. Arms to the front. Inhale and exhale. Forward bend. If we cannot reach the ground easily, we keep the hands on our hips. Let's hold for four and exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we straight the back. We come all the way up. Here we shift the weight onto the left foot. Lift the right one. Your back is arching. Arms at the back. Just to increase the arching. Open your chest. 
we take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Release. Woohoo! Doesn't matter if we lose the balance today, it's about balance. Ready? Let's go spine roll again. Inhale and exhale. Spine roll. Bend in your knees if you need it. Inhale and exhale. Roll up the spine. And again, roll your shoulders backwards when you come all the way up. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Spine roll. Inhale and exhale. Roll up. Good, everybody. Now we roll our shoulders backwards. We open our legs at the same width of your mat, or you are facing to me, a little bit wider than you, hips. Toes pointing slightly diagonally. And we just go arms to the front, palm spray position, middle of the chest, and we're just gonna squat down. Some of us, we can just squat until here. Some of you can go all the way down and bring your arms just against your legs. If you cannot go all the way, we just stay halfway. We hold here for four, breathing, and exhale. Let's go for three. Go all the way if you can. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we come all the way. Bring me your feet parallel. Mm -hmm. Hands back again at the back of you of your body, interlace your fingers, inhale, and exhale, we go forward bend. If we feel too much tension at the back of the legs, we can bend the knees, and we can micro bend your legs, and we hold here for four, feeling the stretch, the stretch deep into your glutes, into your back, of course your legs. Let's go for two, just one more. Hands on your hips, micro bend your knees, and raise your torso. Good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to bring the legs together. We're going to shift the weight onto the left foot and lift the right heel. We're going to lift the left, right knee and bring your hands under as far as you feel comfortable. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work in balance. So the important here is when you lift the leg, as soon as you lift the leg, you press with the other foot on the ground and elevate your tummy. Again, that sensation of pull your pubic bone towards your belly button. So let's go. Push, lift, and catch your foot. And we try to hold here. Find balance. Let's go for four. And three, you can flex and point your foot. Two, if you can bring it higher, you bring higher your knee. And just one more. Good. We drop onto the ground, we go inhale, arms up, exhale, we reach forward, keeping your back straight, and then we go forward, forward, all the way. Catch your ankles, elbows wrap, wrap the calf muscles, we hold here for four breaths, inhale deep, no pain when we are stretching, the opposite, feeling good. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Release, hands on your hips, straight your back. Come all the way up. Great. Open your legs again. A little bit wider than your hips. Toes pointing diagonally. Hands pray position, middle of the chest. And we squat down. Some of us, we can just squat here. It's okay. As much as you repeat this exercise, eventually you will go all the way. And we hold here for four. If you are all the way, make sure that your arms press against the legs and the legs against the arms. Let's go for three. Breathing, no force in your knees. Let's go two. And just one more. Push the ground with your feet and raise your torso. That is quite hard when you are lower. Feet parallel, hands back again at the back. Interlace your fingers, open your chest, inhale, and exhale, forward bend. If you feel too much tension at the back of the knees, you can bend the legs to release more. 
and we just hold here for four and exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. The hands on your hips, straight your back, and come up with the back straight, or you can roll up as well. Good. Bring your legs together. Balance the weight onto the, or shift the weight onto the right foot. Lift the left heel. And again, pull up and push down. And hands, if it's possible, we try to find balance. Your big toe is really important because your big toe is your main balance. Let's go for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. And exhale. And just one more. You can always flex and foot your feet, okay? In case you feel too tight. Release. And let's go one more time forward bend, but this time come at the front of your mat. So we are gonna allow it to go down. So we go, inhale, arms up, arching your back gently. And exhale, reach forward as much as you can. And then we just go fall forward, hands behind your ankles, elbows in, and we just hold it here for four, for three, two, just one more. And release your ankles, just raise your chest, straight your back, you can bend your knees, hands onto the ground, step by our right foot, we slide the right foot as much as we can, super, we lift the right knee, we hold here for four, and three, and two, remember we hold the stretches to relax and release, not to force. Just one more. Bring the knee on the ground and then we're gonna extend the front leg as far as our chest is touching our thigh. It doesn't matter if it's just tiny. We flex the left foot and we hold here for four, three, two, And just one more. We bend the leg. We step backwards. Good. And from here, we can go to do to Chaturanga, if you're familiar with. So it's shoulders forward, elbows bent, chest down. And then we lift the chest, drop the pelvis, and lift the knees. If we are not familiar with this one, we're just going to move the shoulders forward, drop the pelvis, and lift your knees, open your chest. We take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, feel nice sensation. Bring the knees on the ground. If it's too much lifting the knees, you can keep your knees on the ground. And sitting back, child pose. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Back again on two all fours. We step forward, left foot, slide the right knee. Yeah, sorry, right foot forward, so the opposite was, uh, was behind. Curl the toes on the left foot, and we lift the left knee. We can keep your fist or your palms on the ground, whatever is more comfy. And we just hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Knee onto the floor, inhale, and exhale. We straight the front leg as far as we can keep the tummy close to the thigh. We flex the right foot and we just hold here for four, three, two. And just one more. 
and we release. We step backwards, and the same story. We can go through Chaturanga, and then lift up and lift the knees, or we can go just drop your hips and lift your knees, open your chest, relax your shoulders, shoulders down, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Knees back again onto the ground, and we sit in back, child pose, pushing the weight down onto your heels to extend your back, Reach forward with your arms. Let's hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And go. All the way onto all fours. We swing the legs. We sit down in our bum. Bring your legs to the front. Just gonna move this way. Good. We bend the right leg. Pull it close to your tummy. And we're just gonna cross at the front. Out, cross over the left foot onto the ground. And your right hand behind. And we just hug with the left arm, the knee, and we twist completely towards to the right side. Try to twist from your waist, that we don't use too much the shoulders, you know. Relax your shoulders and really feel that your waist is twisting you towards to the right side. Use the hand at the back by placing your fingertips on the ground and bending your elbow to push your pelvis forward and straight your back. And as much as you straight your back, you can twist deeply. We twist and we hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. And just one more. Back to center. Now the same foot is just going to drag onto the side and we're going to cross completely the thighs. But the foot this time is resting on the side. We're going to inhale, arms to the front, and exhale, we reach. If we cannot reach our foot, we let the hands rest on the ground. And we just let the tummy rest onto the leg as far as you can go. Keep this foot active by kind of pushing forward. Imagine you are pushing something forward and squeeze your inner thigh. And we hold here for a four. And exhale. For three. Two and just one more. That's great. It really feels good. Remember to don't force your body as far as you can go without forcing. We bend the left, we can cross over, and then left hand behind on your fingertips to push your pelvis forward. You can bend your elbow, activate the front foot, hook the left knee with your right elbow, we twist from the waist towards to the left, we keep the twist all the way until the neck and we hold here for four, inhale and exhale, let's go for three, two, And just one more. And release. So the same foot, just rest on the side, completely squeeze your thighs, cross your thighs, inhale, arms to the front, and exhale. If we can catch our foot, fantastic. If not, we keep the hands on the ground. And we just hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Keep this foot active, okay? Make sure that it's active. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Good. How you feel? Good. Fantastic. And keep both legs straight at the front. We reach forward. Again, if our tummy cannot touch our thighs, we bend the knees. We catch our feet and we let the chest go down. 
and we just hold here. We can paddle with our feet to release our legs, muscles. We hold for four, breathing. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Now lift the chest. Come all the way up. Hands beside your hips. Straighten your back. If you can straight the, completely the back, you can slightly bend the legs. Remember, there is no point to do this exercise with the legs straight and your back curving. It won't help us. So well, always we can add up tape. So hands beside your hips. Lift your chest. Straighten your back, more important than your legs. You can straighten the legs with your back straight. Go ahead, flex your feet, activate your feet, and we just bring the chin down. We just hold here for four, for three, two, and just one more. Is this important in this exercise, Dandasana? We keep our back straight. Cross your legs, everybody. Well done. We just twist towards to the right side. Give a nice twist. We take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center. Twist other side. Help with the back hand always to straight your back. And the other one on the knee. Just to help us to twist. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center. We're going to take a deep breath. Arm up, arms up. Exhale to your mouth, arms down. With a nice sound of relief. One more time. And, and the last one. Hands back, pray position. And we say Namaste. Thank you for joining us and remember to follow us in Facebook and Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio and we see you tomorrow. Well done.